Yes, how many of you had uh, you know logged into the session on Tuesday? Because I'm seeing a lot of new names. It's nice to have you here. Arunima, Dia, Grace, uh, Agni. Is that how you pronounce your name? Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good, good evening. Were you all also present on Tuesday? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. I was also present on Tuesday. Awesome. Yeah, I remember Dia. I remember. I'm just. I'll just wait for another minute to see if there are more girls joining in, and then we can continue. In the meanwhile, how many of you actually went back to do the homework that I told you, which is, uh, you know, remember we were talking about um, problem statements, and I gave you a few issues or sentences, and I told you to, you know, apply the five why technique and come to the root cause. Did you do you remember? Mm, yes, ma'am. How many of you actually were able to do that? Or oh, everybody was too busy. How many of you tried? How many of you actually tried the five Y technique? Yes, Priya Darshini tried. Okay, this, okay, one rule that we are going to establish is that we cannot have so much of silence. That's just not allowed. Because then it's just going to be me talking. Guys, okay, no problem. To make this a little bit more interactive so we can understand, you know, where you guys are coming from. So, you know, just uh, interact with Leisha while she's asking you guys questions or if you could drop something on the chat. So, at least, you know, she's talking to someone and she's getting some response back. So, yeah. That's what Thank I want you. to say. Thank you. Okay, let's keep this interactive because I'm here to also, you know, address your doubts and solve your problems. It's fine if you didn't get the time to do it. We can always do it now. Um, so maybe we'll start today's session with, you know, I'll give you all a chance to apply um, the five whys to those statements and then we'll take it forward from there. And towards the end of the session, I'll just address, you know, all of your doubts. So I'll quickly share my screen. Okay, are you able to see my screen? Like a quick yes or no? Yes. Yes, are you quick? Are you able to uh, see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, awesome. So like keep talking to me because that would be better. We're anyway just few of us, right? We're just hardly here. So um, uh, just give me a minute. Just give me one minute. Sorry about that. I'm just going to quickly uh, share my screen again. Okay, so here are the list of all the statements. Let's take one that we did not discuss previously and we're going to apply the five whys. Everybody remembers the five whys, right? We keep asking why five times to actually come down to the root of the problem. 
and we'll also see how all of us will actually, you know, we'll actually have uh, very different ways and perspectives of looking at this problem. So can we begin? Let's take something that we haven't taken before. Any one of you can unmute and choose a statement. Dia, would you like to do that? Mm. Just choose the last one. A lot of accidents are happening due to drivers speaking while driving. Yes. Is the anyone here sleeping today? Girls? Okay, let me pick out a name and you'll be able to see who I'm picking out as well. Um, I'm going to ask Dia, then I'm going to ask Grace. Ma'am, the last one. For some reason, I'm unable to hear you. Are you able to hear me? Lisa, I think there's something yes. wrong with your audio. We can hear you. Am I audible? Yeah, you yes. are audible. But I don't think you can hear Give me a minute. I'll Is it, uh, can, can somebody speak? Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, okay, awesome. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, Dia, sorry, I didn't hear which statement you picked. Uh, ma'am, the last one, the driver was sleeping while driving. A lot of accidents happen due to the driver was sleeping while driving. Okay, awesome. Lots of accidents are happening due to drivers sleeping while driving. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you why. Why are lots of accidents happening um, because of this issue? Um, maybe because the drivers are tedious and they are fatigued to drive more. Okay. They are fatigued. Why? You can think out loud, so that you know absolutely okay. Just think out loud and tell me what you think. Because they drive long distances without a break. Okay, awesome. Why do they dri drive long distances without a break? It's okay to think because in the next part of this segment, no, we'll understand the purpose of having so many perspectives. Yes. Why do they drive without a break? What could be like the possible reasons? They are in rush. Okay, they are in a rush. Why are they in a rush? Because and there's no wrong answer. So we're just thinking out loud. Yes. Because of a lot of pressure and the deadline. Okay, maybe they have some sort of deadline or, uh, you know. Okay, what else? Any other causes? Maybe the weather conditions. I'm making okay, so... Sleepy. Okay, so see that will be another that will be another issue. Uh, we'll look at that. We'll look at weather, weather conditions. But one can we can end with okay, say fatigue. Uh, uh, sorry, fatigue, and then uh, you know they've got to get to some point, and there are certain deadlines that they have to meet. Okay, so mm -hmm. in this again, the real problem is suppose they have to you know deliver. Suppose these are delivery vehicles, and the drivers are in these delivery vehicles. Let's assume they're in trucks. Then yes. the problem that needs to be defined is, okay, how can we restructure the timings? Because that is actually what is causing drivers to feel sleepy and fatigued. And that is what is actually leading to accidents. Okay, let's look at, a, are you able to uh, understand this root cause of the problem? Yes, no. 
yes ma'am okay yes. let's look at the other one okay awesome thank you for responding it it uh, helps to keep this going okay uh, the other one let's say weather conditions okay like maybe the weather conditions are not conducive in this particular area where there are lots of accidents why um we'll have to see but the problem is whether you cannot really control so you have to think about this very practically you know issue is lots of accidents are happening drivers are feeling sleepy so maybe they are traveling at a particular time uh let's say they are traveling at night you know and which is why they are sleepy and and the climate is also not probably helping um so why are they driving at night is there any other perspective besides the one we have discussed does somebody else have a different perspective i'm they're taking up yes they're driving at night because there is less traffic at that time okay um to this if we ask why you know it won't make sense because it's just a thing that why is there less traffic at night is understood you know because people are mostly sleeping and work happens during the day um let's try and look at it another way um maybe we'll try to look at it from another angle in the, in the sense that what push okay it could be a uh, lesser traffic what else could be a reason that they drive at night maybe in this case you know we may have to change uh, just the timing you know because the timing is not very conducive let's look at other types of drivers lots of accidents are happening due to drivers sleeping while driving let's look at other reasons sometimes uh you know um hello it could be a yes um actually uh, ek uh, recently ye jo samruddhi mark pe jo accident hua tha hmm. to usme ek theri uh, bhi aayi thi ki okay. uh, wahan pe uh, bahut uh, dur tak uh, like uh, breakfast center ya aisa kuch hai nahi to uh, wo road uh, hypnotize kar sakta hai aapko kyunki wo seedha hai turns Haan. wagar kuch bhi nahi hai तो तो ये ये भी भी क्योंकि आपको डिस्ट्रैक्शन कम है है तो हो हो सकता है कि ये भी एक रीजन हाँ, perfect, perfect. आ, अगर आप यू नो दूसरों को भी हिंदी में बात करना मो कंफर्टेबल है अगर आपको वो कंफर्टेबल है आप वो भी कीजिए थैंक यू सो मच आपने ये शेयर किया एब्सोल्युटली समटाइम्स द रोड गेट्स वेरी मोनोटिनस or that is why there can be sleeping problem so the accident is not the issue as much as maybe we can have certain stalls along the way if they can agar wo chai pee sakte hain or just coffee to just refresh them or some sort of a break or some way to you know break the monotony that can also help uh thank you so much let's look at another problem okay let's look at uh, there are a lot of potholes on national highways why why are there lot of potholes on national highways yes bad construction okay bad construction why uh because they have the timeline okay they are trying to meet some deadline and so they you know they have not done a um, whole hearted job okay uh why these timelines why are they given these deadlines why could they be so rushed itna rush kyu hai agar unko deadline mila hai Haan. to why aisa rush kyu hai kyu diya gaya hai maybe some political issues ho sakte okay political issues now mostly when we come to a point jab wo government pe aata hai aur political Haan. issues Haan. pe aata hai we get stuck you know so yes. uh, let's try to get more specific in uh, and uh, let's look at it a little differently because see when we come to corruption or we come towards a dead end when we say government is responsible 
then we meet with some sort of a uh, uh, you know like a block because what can you do about the government can you change the government no and can we change our political party no we cannot do any of that so we'll have to look at it more practically you know that this is the issue okay it could be resources resources are controlled maybe the quality of the uh, you know the the resources are not up to the mark you know maybe they don't have alternatives we can try and look at it on those lines another point i'd like to tell you even when you're identifying your problem is uh, see it's always going to be easy to come to a point where we'll get stuck with the government needs to come up with those solutions the government needs to you know but you will be met with a dead end when we reach there because you'll you'll realize that you're helpless and you can't change anything and so you'll have to work around that problem and look for other alternative solutions okay but this is just a example so we're just learning how to uh, ask questions and come to the root cause so the issue might be okay there are potholes i want to clear the potholes but the root cause of the potholes on the national highway may not be um, you know sometimes some will say there's a lot of uh, heavy vehicles ja rahe ho highway ke upar that's why there are more potholes okay, okay. okay. sometimes it might be oh the quality of the material is not good that's why there are so many potholes and then of course you know sometimes it's just corruption sometimes it's just negligence you know uh, of uh, on part of you know the construction officers or whoever is responsible because of which there are potholes did we discuss the one on there is a lot of illiteracy among women in rural india did we discuss that yes ma'am okay so then i am assuming you all have you all have an idea about this when uh, you know when coming down to defining your real problem ask a lot of questions okay that's just the point of this now in the previous session we spoke about why should we come up with an idea okay we realize that how it's important to bring about a change in the society that we live in we also spoke about how should we do this you know and i we spoke about two breakthrough approaches do you remember those two breakthrough approaches two breakthrough approaches uh, that we did we solved a mystery and through that we learned something anybody remembers mom one was common and uncommon absolutely awesome and the other one was what did we learn through that mystery about challenging the obvious remember yes no yes okay we how we saw how we take a lot of things at face value and based on our perceptions and experiences but we need to learn to challenge the obvious so we did how should we come up with an idea by challenging the obvious and finding the common into uncommon things to draw inspiration from other brands other products other services and we also spoke about what should we do you know uh, how should we define the problem uh, depending on how critical the problem is how widespread that problem is you know what benefit does my uh, customer or client have from that problem today we are going to uh, look at how will i solve the problem and what will i do okay this is going to be a very practical session a very brief session i'm going to take you through pictures images and we are going to discuss ideation and ideation technique okay ideation is nothing but the process of coming up with an idea we are going to look at how to think of innovative ideas what is innovation if i have to ask you what is innovation anybody what in your own words and understanding what is innovation hindi mein bhi bol sakte ho aapke mutabe innovation kya hai innovation i think wo hai jo kisi bhi industry mein abhi matlab koi bhi industry aap le lo to usme baki ke log wo nahi kar rahe hain hmm 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 correct Aur, वो एक ने थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाया और कुछ आइडिया ढूंढा जो एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व कर सकता है ओके ऑसम ऑसम और कभी कभी इनोवेशन कुछ नया इन्वेंट करना भी नहीं है दैट्स नॉट इनोवेशन 
ओके समटाइम्स वो प्रोडक्ट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट कर रहा है और आप उसमें एक बदलाव ला रहे हो सो दैट द बेनिफिट फॉर द यूजर विल इंक्रीज ओके सो इन यस एनीबडी एल्स हैज एनी अदर यू नो आंसर्स फॉर व्हाट दे थिंक इनोवेशन इज यस aditi yes. in your own words what according to you is innovation uh, uh, like creative ideas okay okay awesome it can be creativity so in the previous session we spoke about how sometimes we are so excited we want to create something brand new something that does not exist ओके बट इफ यू लुक अराउंड अगर हम यू नो दुनिया में देखें तो ऑल द प्रोडक्ट दैट वी नीड ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट राइट एंड सो मोर देन इन्वेंशन इनोवेशन कैन एक्चुअली एड वैल्यू टू आर लाइफ लुकिंग एट द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज अराउंड आज ओनली लाइक आई गेव यू एग्जाम्पल्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन यू नो ऑफ द एम आर आई स्कैन एंड द डस्टर्स हाउ विथ द प्रोडक्ट्स आर ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टेड they were improved and transformed so that the user can get more benefit that's innovation taking something that already exists and transforming it to increase its value to that product okay so very simply what is ideation if this is just a reminder that it is not coming up with a unique idea to solve user problems it is not about invention ideation is about coming up with multiple pointers that can potentially provide a partial or full solution to the user it's also like like aditi said being creative okay um being innovative transforming something that already exists what we just did with the five whys is exactly that it is ideation it is coming up with multiple pointers that can provide a partial or full solution okay let me do an experiment with you okay but i need all of you wide awake and excited for this how many of you are awake i don't i don't sense that you are awake i need to know i need a quick yes no we're here a very quick yes no okay arunima seems to be awake yes ma'am yes ara yes. aradhna is awake diya is awake okay because if i don't get a lot of response i can't go ahead with this experiment okay grace ravina yes okay awesome so now i'm going to narrate an experiment to you and you have to tell me how to solve this okay just give me a minute okay so now you have three things you have listen carefully you have a candle you have a box of pins and you have a um, matchstick box clear you have three things you have a candle you have a box of pins and you have a match now what i need you to do is i want you to light the candle in such a way that the uh, wax does not drip and fall on the floor how are you going to do this the question is clear to everybody yes ma'am okay awesome so um start by giving me suggestions how can i light this candle without getting the wax to drip and fall on the floor all the three things that you have is clear a box of pins okay or those stacks you know that we use on notice boards those box of pins a matchstick box and a candle think and tell me how you going to light this candle without the wax falling on the floor i'm assuming you're all thinking the silence means that you're thinking yes ma'am okay okay uh 
ma'am, uh, can I yes. say? Yes, yeah, sure, Aditi. Um, I think that uh, uh, we'll take the candle and we'll stick the pins all around the candle. Okay. And, uh, it will also become decoration, decorative and the uh, wax will also not fall. Okay, okay. Awesome. Let's see. Let's see what others have to say. What about the rest? Okay, we'll go one by one. Okay, Aradhana. How do you think we can achieve this? What can we do? Arunima, Aradhana, Diya. Yes, yes, Arunima. Ma'am, uh, I don't know. Like, if uh, huh. uh, jalana hai, to, matlab, agar andhera nahi hai, to like candle jalana kyu? Uh, chalo, assume karte ki andhera hai. Okay. So, phir kya karenge? Hmm. It's okay. Wrong answer kuch nahi hai. Just try. Um, maybe we can put it over the box, uh, piles or boxes of uh, pins. You want to put the candle on top of the box of pins? That's what you're yeah. saying, Dia? Yes, ma'am. Uh, but won't the wax still uh, trickle down and fall? Ma'am, if we have uh, two or three boxes and if we put then might it not and it will just stick to the box surface of the box okay okay let's see what others have to say but good you're at least trying your thinking rest of you ravina priya darshini Ag Agarash, uh, can I, how do I pronounce your name? S V Agarshanashri. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope I'm not making a mistake. Yes, girls. Priya Darshini. One more response and then I'll take you to the solution. Grace wants to try? Now I feel none of you are able to hear me because nobody is responding. Have you melted along with the candle? Everybody? Or are you still here? Am I still talking to myself? Yes, ma'am. We are here. You're like here, no? Okay. Sure, no? Yes. Yes, you can also drop your responses in the chat box uh, so that, you know, I can hear, I can read it out. Okay, uh, Aradhana says, candle can be placed with pins stuck around so that the wall will not melt. Uh, okay. Okay, so now what all of you are, have done is uh, something called functional fixedness. Okay, I will show it to you quickly on the screen. Okay. You have tried to solve this problem. Okay, but uh, do you realize all of you are trying to use the product in the function of that product only? That means aap mix or match kuch nahi kar rahe ho. The solution of this is you can um, take the matchbox, empty it, place the candle inside the matchbox, okay? Pin that box to the wall and light the candle. So that way when the candle is lit and, uh, you know, wax melts, the wax will fall into the box and not on the floor. Did anyone think of this or were you all thinking about this? Anybody? Yes, no? No, no. no. Because we are trained, our minds are trained to think about the use of a product in a singular manner, you know, in a fixed manner. If I ask you, what is the use of a toothbrush? You will say to brush your teeth. 
but can a toothbrush be used for other things yes ma'am like what like what can you use a toothbrush for uh um uh, i've used it for cleaning my shoes okay awesome you can use it to clean your shoes what else some people use it to clean you know the 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 edges in the tiles on all these little little corners that br big brushes and ha your you know your cloth can't reach you use the toothbrush anything else we can use the toothbrush for i have also seen people dyeing their hair with a toothbrush all their baby hair with a toothbrush have you all noticed it some people even use a toothbrush to dye their hair yes no yes or or uh, you know people use toothbrush sometimes to uh, you know create a particular effect with paint when you're painting have yes. you known have you seen that like spray painting you can do that with a toothbrush right yes. so it means so initially we see that when we look at a toothbrush you think okay it has one purpose which is to brush our teeth our mind tends to do that based on the main function of that product that is called functional fixedness that means there is this uh, this product has only one fixed function but when we are learning about ideation this is the biggest block this is the biggest block to creativity because we will never then think beyond that single function of the product and that's exactly what we did here we retained the matchstick box as is we looked at the candle separately and the box of pins separately because our mind tends to look at the fixed function of these separate products but the moment we break this functional fixedness what we do is we begin to mix and match and we are able to find creative or more creative solutions to this let's let me give you an example of another product and let me see how we can break functional fixedness okay uh, a comb for example what is the main function of a comb it's obvious to comb our hair right what else can we do with a comb let's try and be creative let's try to break functional fixedness how else can we use a comb comb we can create music okay we can create music with a comb maybe and also painting we can also do painting yes we can create certain textures with paint using that comb okay awesome how else can we use the comb have you seen old grannies sometimes you know um, even use the comb to like uh, you know scratch the you know like an itch Yes. that they have you see that even sometimes in movies or all of that you know like they'll use that to sometimes just you know like scratch themselves okay so the comb doesn't we see that okay it can be used for multiple other things indian moms use the comb to whack their kids also right that have yes or no have you all seen that notice that experience that yourself that indian moms can use anything as a tool and sometimes they use a comb also to whack you Yes, yes. Okay. Definitely. So when we look at uh, the function of a product beyond its main function, we are breaking functional fixedness. Okay. Let me try something else with you only so that you can understand this ideation technique. Let me uh, take a a mug. Okay. What is the main function of a mug? To pour something in in it and drink it. Ah, uh, drink the contents. What else can we use a mug for? what else can we use a mug for ma'am we can use it as a flower vase to give flowers awesome we can use it as a flower vase uh, flower vase what pen else holder. we can use it as a pen holder sometimes maybe if we don't have a tumbler we can maybe use it as a tumbler if we are stranded somewhere and we only have a mug and we have a river next to us maybe it can be used as a tumbler uh anything else we can use it for we can use it as a spade if we want to try and collect something or if we are gardening and we don't have a particular tool we can use the mug to dig in the mud yes, yes. can we do that right yes. so 
when we think about multiple solutions like this we are breaking functional fixedness and this is a very important ideation technique because when we are ideating or coming up with ideas we cannot uh, look at something in only through only one lens or one perspective we need to broaden the way we look at products and the use of those products and how can we transform them to suit us okay so the first ideation technique is functional fixedness the next one is called brainstorming i'm sure all of you know about brainstorming okay this is a very important ideation technique especially if you are working with a team okay so if you are working with other people as well no brainstorming is very important because as you've seen even in, in this session when we were doing five whys different people can have different perspectives for the same problem and it's important to listen to their perspectives and take in what they are saying because you never know in what way that can help you okay so brainstorming can be done in a particular way one is you have to set a particular time limit okay it's important to set a time limit you cannot just go on all night all morning next day you have to have a specific time limit that you set up stay focused on the topic because with brainstorming there is a tendency to drift from the main subject you know you tend to drift from the main subject and you tend to maybe discuss other things so it's important to stay focused on the problem that you are discussing don't cut others thoughts because they may definitely have something very valuable to share with you it and it may be a perspective you didn't think about a problem you didn't think about a cause you didn't think about so don't cut others thoughts pay attention because everyone definitely has something or the other to contribute because their experiences are different their observations may be different and it can work uh you know uh in your favor and to your advantage again in the process of brainstorming when everybody is sharing i'm sure you know this don't pass judgments or don't criticize the idea you know don't say oh no this is nonsense this is rubbish uh take in everything take in every all the suggestions that are uh, provided and make a note of all of them encourage each other to actually think out of the box encourage you know weird wacky wild ideas you know that is actually what's going to lead you to your solution sometimes when you just think about the most unusual and random or weird idea may actually lead you to a particular uh, solution you know so encourage that also it's important to hear each other out and so you cannot do that when there are multiple people talking so encourage one conversation at a time when you're brainstorming it would be nice to have somebody to moderate that session you know to say okay you speak all right we'll make a note of it next person you know have one conversation at a time be visual that means be imaginative try to imagine the solution try to understand okay how can we create this okay and aim for quantity now what do you think i mean when i'm saying aim for quantity in brainstorming what do you think i mean aim for quantity the number of point of views on the particular topic absolutely okay try to get as many suggestions as possible because if you you're getting as many suggestions it means that okay more area is covered on this topic okay so the second ideation technique is brainstorming any questions about functional fixedness and brainstorming yes no ma'am i had one uh, doubt yes uh, please uh, i want to know like how uh, how do we apply this functional uh, fixedness and brainstorming in our uh, uh, business when we start a business or we are dealing with our clients okay so this is a uh... even this is this is even before you start your business or if you you have already started your business then this will help you in how can i be more innovative suppose you are selling yeah. a particular product no okay let's yeah. say you are selling soap okay, okay. and uh, you know you are trying to be more innovative now you are doing well but you want to do better you want to compete yeah so what happens is functional fixedness is nothing but breaking a fixed mindset of looking at a product and okay. suppose you want to add another component to your soap you know yeah. let's yeah. say uh, we know that salt is only used for cooking 
you know right. but yeah. then you do your research on salt and you say oh why don't i incorporate this in my product this is just an example why don't okay. i incorporate this in my product because this can serve this particular function you yeah. know mm so things like that you don't only okay. look at salt being used in the kitchen for example and soap you know only as a bath product uh, okay. in that sense but how can i incorporate these two things you know that's okay. why now today we have soaps that have will have mint you know they'll have these particular yes. fragrances peppermint and things yes. like that you know um yes. you'll also see you know you have certain handmade soaps that will have also these spices and yes. uh, certain leaves in them and all of that you know Yes, so right. functional fixedness is nothing but breaking the mindset that each product has only a singular use how okay. can i look at these products differently bring them together to blend well with what you are selling and what you are offering yes got it ma'am thank you okay so that's functional fix and brainstorming of course when you're working with your team if you want to advance something then you can you know have a discussion in a manner that's very focused okay thank you for asking that really improves the quality of the session because you are uh, i know that you are applying this to your own ideas and your own uh, ventures and businesses yes ma'am thank you and yeah anybody else because we are discussing now how will i the how will i part of the session and we are talking about ideation techniques about functional fixedness brainstorming another thing which is very important which i believe i showed you in the previous session also is this little fact sheet that you can see on my screen okay this is one little outline where you can put in all your points and it will give you a clear idea of your problem who are your users and what is your insight okay or why you're doing it these are the things that you will add in your problem fact sheet this is something that you can make a note of it will help you to just bring clarity to your problem okay firstly who are the people facing the problem okay who are your customers going to be who are your clients going to be you have to be specific then what are their needs that need to be addressed what needs to be addressed what is the problem okay is currently are there uh, is there an option for that problem to solve that problem is there a current option okay and what are the shortcomings of that what are the limitations of that product okay why do they need a solution and finally define your problem and talk about what your idea is okay uh, let's say for example uh, let's say there is a there is just one toothpaste in the market okay so who's facing the problem children adults everyone families everybody who uses a toothpaste is facing the problem okay uh, let's say the issue with the toothpaste is that um, it cleans your mouth okay but it does not it has no fragrance to it let's assume that you know this particular audience says that oh it's just a very basic toothpaste there is no i'm not i i can i'm not enjoying fresh breath after i use my toothpaste so what needs to be we address the issue of fresh breath for example okay what are they currently using so and so brand what are the shortcomings that it cleans but it is not providing any added benefit in terms of you know fresh breath okay why do they need a solution because they don't feel confident for example when they are talking to people or they are in a conversation because they feel like the toothpaste is not helping the breath issue okay so what will your problem statement be that to create a toothpaste with um, you know added benefits of fresh breath and then you give your idea that in my toothpaste i will add peppermint my toothpaste will have salt my toothpaste will have mint okay and uh, incorporating all of these elements along with cavity protection i will provide a better product is that making sense to you all with this example yes no girls have you all gone to brush your teeth are you all yes. awake <laughs> you're like you're right yes. so similarly uh, we need to take you take you need to take your own uh, problem or whatever solution you're looking to provide and apply this here anybody has any doubt about the problem fact sheet no ma'am okay awesome 
now do you think one problem has just one solution no there could be multiple okay so let's practice that let's look at it okay now this is my problem i want clean water okay provide me with solutions you provide me with solutions any solution i want clean water how will you help me it can be filtered and boiled okay you can i can boil and filter my water awesome anybody else all those who had gone to brush their teeth have you come back from that example then help me now i want clean water how can i get clean water okay one amazing example i got i'll filter the water i'll boil the water what else can i do if i want clean water come on if i don't encourage you to think then with your own ideas as well you won't spend a lot of time thinking so i don't mind you know taking time for this as long as you are actually provoked to think we can pass it through a proper purification system which is uh, uh, usually uh, taught in schools like the earthen pot and the layers of sand gravel and all that okay we can have like a sustainable uh, filtration process uh, okay great and i can ensure suppose you know i do, yeah suppose i don't have the means and maybe i can use a more traditional method to filter out my water great the rest of you other girls what else can be done uh, we can use alum also awesome we can use alum if the water is stored then we can use alum as a water purifying uh, you know substance okay suppose i am traveling and i want clean water what should i do for the distilled water okay uh, or uh, I, and buy i'll have to buy packaged mineral drinking water right so i want clean water to drink but you've given me multiple solutions for that so we understand that one problem can have multiple solutions it depends on who's facing the problem where is where is the problem occurring okay suppose it is in a place where you know there is no free flowing water they don't get running water they have to draw water from the well and store it in that case can i attach an ro or a purifier i can't do that right but maybe yes or no can i do that i think no. the answer is pretty obvious no yes not possible okay but instead yeah instead i can use a pack of alum and i can use that to purify my stored water if i have enough supply of water maybe i can use a water filter or an ro source but if i'm traveling can i take my ro with me everywhere if i want uh, clean water no i might need packaged water you know or mineral water uh of a portable filter so one problem can have multiple solutions it depends who is the user where are they where are they from you know understanding that background completely in order that you can come to a solution remember we discussed this in the previous session identifying your users understanding where they are from what is their profile what is their background everything do you remember that that we spoke about this previously yes no yes ma'am okay so this is where all of that is going to be applied you will keep in mind the background of your clients or your customers so can we build multiple ideas absolutely yes okay here is another example of a garbage bin a garbage bin with wheels garbage bin of different shapes and sizes depending on the area it is being used in can we use the first type of big garbage bin in our house yes can we use it will you be happy if you know um somebody gives you a big garbage bin with wheels in your house Oh, it is, it is not needed yes and it's also not very aesthetically appealing right it is so weird to have a huge garbage bin in your house and so you need to design it differently for different spaces you can also color code your garbage uh, bins or they can be color coded depending on the type of garbage 
and sometimes you can also have bins with volumetric sensors that means that will tell you when the bin is full and it might give you a signal so that we can empty it okay uh, so one problem of garbage can be solved with multiple issues here there are more solutions to that build displays in case people don't know how to dispose wet waste dry waste electronic waste you can build displays create educational videos on creating awareness about you know maybe garbage pollution or waste segregation you can have mobile garbage collecting vans and real time tracking of garbage vans if people are not fully educated or aware about waste management you know there can be so many other ways that people can be educated about this and coming to the next important part of how will you come up with your idea besides functional fixedness breaking functional fixedness brainstorming okay understanding that one problem can have multiple ideas building prototypes is very very important what is a prototype according to you framework for of the idea awesome okay like a basic workable framework of an idea is a prototype like a little uh, working model which is not expensive okay if a picture is worth a thousand words a prototype is worth a thousand meetings that means it's uh, you know a prototype can undergo thousand transformations you may build something but it may not be perfect and you can make changes again and again and again to it okay which is also important here we see a prototype or an early sample of a mouse that was built to test out the mouse and what it should look like okay uh and from that it does not look like what it look used to look like earlier right it's because it has undergone multiple you know sessions or whatever of brainstorming and transformation to look like the way it does for the grip imagine having one where your hand is not even able to hold that mouse and move it right maybe the prototype that was created earlier was too big and was not easy or it was too hard and was hurting the hand and so it had to undergo multiple changes to look like the way it looks today these are ways you can build a prototype it has to these are just some key points it shouldn't take you a lot of time it shouldn't take you one year two years to build a prototype okay it should be rapid it should be easy to build and easy to deconstruct okay like how do you have craft you can you can fold the paper build something and you can also unfold it and it will come back to its original shape so it should be easy to construct okay it should be able to you know you should be able to experiment with it so when you're displaying this uh, prototype or you're showing it your client or whoever it is that you're presenting it to should be able to see and understand how does this work okay it should you need to know how you can it should be experiential and should have touch and feel it should be tangible you should be able to touch it it should also be exciting people should be interested in it it should draw people's attention and you need to encourage you know like validation uh, encourage even feedback for that matter okay on that uh, prototype how can this be improved how can this be changed okay uh but you need to make sure that it is working in some form so that it can you know you can present a kind of a demo of your product or your service based on your prototype this is again another uh, these are examples of sample prototypes prototype of a mobile app okay prototype of home automation app and prototype of a sensor based prosthetic hand if you can see they have used materials that are not expensive they've used paper they've used cardboard you know they've used basic materials so same way when you build your prototypes your you know for your own product ensure that you're not spending too much money on your prototype keep it simple keep it easy you know um and uh, you should have like a real experience of what this is going to look like so that you can make changes to it here more there are more examples of prototypes of smart watches a prototype of a smart backpack and a prototype of a 3d printer again they've used basic things like cardboard and paper 
Now the point of a prototype is to get feedback, not only for yourself to understand what is this product going to look like, but also to get feedback from your users. Okay, you will present this to them. They will test it out. They'll see, and seeking user feedback is very important to understand what worked. Okay, what was good about this product? What was good about this service? What could be improved? Okay. any questions that you have or they have make a note of that and what are uh, potential suggestions that they give you or ideas how can we transform this better what can we do to improve this okay so seeking user feedback is very important because in this journey of you know coming up with an entrepreneurial idea we spoke about co creation right we are not creating by ourselves but we are creating along with our users because it is their needs that we are satisfying with that we come to the final part of our session which is what will i okay or what will i do finally what will i focus on uh how will i you know finally come up with this uh, product of mine and to talk about what will i do we're going to discuss how we need to focus on benefits and features but among the two there is one thing that is most important what do you think is most important in a product the benefits that the product gives us or the features of the product benefits okay uh definitely because our users or our customers they buy benefits they don't buy features let me give you and i'll give you two examples first i'll give you an example of uh, cream okay face cream let's say the features of my face cream are my face cream has multi vitamins uh my face cream is not oily and so when you apply it you know it is absorbed in the skin easily and it is non oily creates a non oily effect the benefits so the benefits of that cream are that my skin is going to be healthier my skin is going to glow i'm going to get a you know an increased sense of confidence when i apply this skin this cream so when we go to the market to purchase this cream do you think people are actually going to purchase it for the multivitamins that are there in that for vitamin e and vitamin a and vitamin c that is in the cream not really right they are actually purchasing the benefit which is oh wow this cream is going to give me a sense of confidence when i use this cream i'm going to feel beautiful and i want to feel beautiful so you're buying the benefit from that cream that's actually why they use a lot of celebrities because you know through the influence of the celebrity using the cream that you may identify with that and see benefit in that cream or in any product for that matter same with this mattress that you can see on my screen let's say uh you know one one feature or whatever of the mattress is that it's made of sag wood it is 6.5 feet long it has high tension spring and 2 inch coil okay this is the feature of the product uh and the benefit is it gives me sound sleep it is durable and it is body ad adjustable now it can be made of sag wood it can be 6.5 feet long it can have high tension springs but if it is not giving me sound sleep if it is too hard you know if it hurts my back will i buy it no right yes yeah, silence means you will buy it yeah only one person is not going to buy it i i don't know about the rest Have you all already fallen asleep on this mattress, this imaginary mattress? Yes. Yes. No, girls. I'm not moving ahead if I don't get any response because then I feel like I'm talking to myself. No, I will not buy it if it doesn't give me the benefits. Absolutely. Okay. So what's most important is features are important. okay they add to our product but it is the benefit that the user buys so in the market if there are two products and yours is brilliant and beautiful but it is not giving your customer any benefit they will not go for your product even if it is absolutely stunning 
okay do you have examples of this of products that you buy uh, and there is another one in the market similar to that but you buy a different one because of the benefit do you have any examples of these um yes. shampoo sorry shampoo wait your voice is breaking so i didn't hear that can you please say that again or type it in the chat box okay awesome shampoo okay great uh definitely okay there are so many shampoos that exist today but uh, let's assume a particular shampoo is great okay let's say uh head and shoulders is great but it's actually not solving my issue of dandruff like it is uh promoting okay and it has lovely features okay the fragrance is great you know the bottle is huge that i get so i get like additional quantity okay but then i use pantene and it is solving my issue of dandruff i will definitely go by pantene right because it's giving me particular benefit um even if the features that it's offering in my example is not as much as head and shoulders okay any other examples let's say again for some reason i can i'm i i'm in love with toothpaste today so again if my toothpaste has salt in it okay but when i use that uh, this toothpaste which has this amazing feature of added salt my gums start itching okay and i realize okay it's, it's causing some sort of allergy or some sort of itch will i continue using it no i will opt for another toothpaste which gives me benefit which may be milder and which may be actually which will actually help my gums better right so similarly there are lots of products like that in the market that we buy for its benefits so when you design your product come up with your idea make sure that your idea compared to your competitors is providing an added benefit to your uh, to your clients and your customers they need to know why they you need to know why they should buy your product okay it's also important to communicate your idea what problem are you solving again this is the problem date uh, problem fact sheet what problem are we solving who is your user what is your solution what are the benefits of your solution why would we why would we love to uh, to solve the problem okay so even the manner in which you communicate your idea even when you're pitching your ideas these are important key points to have in mind what problem are you solving who is your user or your customer base okay what is the need gap you know where are you filling in with your idea what is your solution and what are the benefits of your solution okay these are certain things that are very important for you to keep in mind you can make a quick note of it because this will help you when you're trying to present your idea these are some of the points you can keep in mind you don't even have to talk about anything additional as long as you talk about this uh your audience will have a clear picture of your idea and the problem that you are solving uh that's clear clear any questions yes the slide is clear okay yes ma'am and with that i come to the last part of my session which is the power of why okay and this is the core and the most important aspect on this journey of uh, coming up with an entrepreneurial idea okay or coming up with a problem which is this is something that simon sinek said okay this is called the golden circle and he talks about the power of why does anybody know about this already anybody knows about this already ma'am you had shown the slide in the last session yes for those of you who have attended it last week you will know about it for those who are new okay um he says that there are three layers okay this is a golden circle how most people and most organizations they know what they are doing okay they know they know what they are selling they know what they are offering they know the what part of it that this is my product this is what i am doing okay 
most everyone knows this there are very few organizations which will have an insight into how they are doing it okay they they'll pay attention to okay this is how i'm going to promote it this is how i'm going to sell this this is how i'm going to market this this is how i'm going to present this okay uh very few will know how they are doing it and still very 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 few people will understand why they are doing what they are doing or very few people will have a vision attached to what they are doing okay and he talks about the power of why in this in in this context that we need to have a vision behind what we are doing okay your product may be great you may understand what you are doing you may understand how you want to do it but you need to have something that goes beyond your product and what you are doing and you need to have a vision for why are you doing this okay if you are building say let's say you are constructing chairs okay um for people who have maybe spondylitis related problems back related problems you are innovating and designing a brand new chair okay you know you know what you're doing you're coming up with like a comfortable chair you also know how you're going to do it i'm going to go to hospitals and promote this i'm going to go to ngos and promote this i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that i'm going to create awareness about uh, spondylitis related issues posture related issues and i'm going to promote my chair but why am i doing what i'm doing you need to have a clear vision for why am i doing this am i just doing this for money what is my vision you know what is my goal what am i aiming for that is most important because if you get stuck in the what and how you'll get disappointed along the way but if you have a vision for why am i doing what i'm doing that will keep you going because resilience and risk taking is a very big part of this entrepreneurial journey and as long as you are clear about your vision of why am i doing what i'm doing you will always stay on that course and you will never quit okay so if you have not found your why yet okay why am i doing this then take time out to find that to build on your vision to have a vision because that's ultimately what is going to sustain you and remember that entrepreneurship is not a job it's actually a mindset okay with that i'm done with my session but i'm going to uh, you know i'm here to clarify any doubts that you may have one minute yeah any doubts that you may have, any uh, questions that you want to ask me feel free to ask me ma'am i had one query yes uh, i just want you just now mentioned about a statement like resilience and risk taking is important part of entrepreneurial journey yes so uh, i would like to uh, know uh, what what example can you give to i mean i didn't understand the concept of risk taking i understood but resilience huh. i did not understand resilience is nothing but your ability to bounce back okay, okay. now when you are starting something when, you know uh, entrepreneurs are mainly embarking on their own journey right they don't have a boss they are the boss correct okay. and yeah. so they are subject to sometimes a lot of failure because sometimes a particular plan or idea may not work you know right. they, yeah. their investments may fail you know everything that they've invested they may be met with some sort of crisis or setback correct in that how do they respond you know do they just give up or will they bounce back and say okay let me see what else i can do again the idea fails let me see what else i can do that is resilience your ability to bounce back risk of course you're taking because sometimes you, even without the resources we're just yeah. going ahead to check whether this is going to work or not whether this is going to be accepted or not right yes and yes. resilience is your ability to bounce back which you'll have to be especially yeah. if you are an entrepreneur okay yeah. yes anybody else has any other questions ma'am yes um actually this is my first minute i could not attend the previous ones because i had some exams going on Okay. Um, so actually, I joined this course. I saw a course in LinkedIn that we mm. like. We can actually submit an idea, and and the top ten uh, groups can actually present the ideas in Boom Biz Talk Exchange. Correct. Correct. So where can we present the ideas? I mean, we can we submit the ideas. So you will be given a link, right, uh, Ma'am uh, Nikita? A link will be shared with them, right?
yeah I, uh, a link will be shared with you where you can I actually can submit this yes, yes i can hear you yes i can hear yeah. you so guys there will be a link shared with yours okay so that would be on the 1st of september at bombay stock exchange uh, where you all can give your ideas pitch your ideas the top 5 would be given uh, prizes of course the first 10 will be shortlisted and there will be five winners. So that will be given to you all with a link and all the details accordingly. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Uh, but we are a group of three actually. We are from Kerala. And we are okay. a group of three, two girls and a boy. But if we are not able to come there and present over there, can the boy come and present? Ma'am Nikita, is that okay? Oh. Um see. If you all are presenting, who is idea is it? It's your idea or is the boy's idea? It's our idea. I'm the um. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know whether he will be able to present. It would be better to also, but um, I can find out. I can find out if there's either. Okay. Um, can we find the recorded meetings? Um, you know, recorded meeting or something. Second? Session. Hello. Hello. Hello, yes, ma'am. We can hear you. They are just uh, can they access the recorded sessions? Is yeah, that what th sessions. that's what they're asking? Okay. I will share my email ID, just drop a link to me, and I can give it to you. Oh, okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Any other doubts or questions that you have, girls? Yes, no. Was the session helpful to you? Did it help solve some pro uh, some issue, some doubt that you had yes, regarding your idea, your problem? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It was a very enriching experience. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. As long as it helps help you. And uh, ma'am Nikita has just shared her email ID as well. You can you know make note of it. If you have any queries uh, regarding submission of the ideas, you can get in touch with her. So all the best girls. I know brilliant ideas are going to come from all of you. Just remember that you're focusing on a problem and not an idea and you're looking to provide benefits to someone. And like I ended the session and I said, keep vision in mind. So have a vision for what you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. Okay. All the best girls. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, ma'am. Thank you. I have dropped the link for Tuesday session. So we'll be having people in the session. So it would be great if you guys could join them, you know, as we can continue to give more ideas. So there's a lot of things and take back from this to serve for you for the final day. All right. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.